All right, this one's pretty fun. It's a little crazy, but it looks a little different. Now, I've done a couple things here, a couple crazy things. First of all, instead of using theta, I'm using x. That's fine. It doesn't matter the variable you use. Okay, just because our formulas say theta, you can change every single formula up here to wherever, where all the thetas become x's. You can change the a and the b in the sum and the difference. You can change them to x and y if you want to, or, a, or you know, c and d, whatever you like. Okay? It doesn't matter what the variable is. Uh, but what I have here is we have something where we don't have a formula for it over there. We have sine of 3x is equal to 3 sine of x times cosine squared of x minus sine cubed of x. Now, um, there's a lot of things we can do here. First of all, we're, everything's already in sine and cosine, and so, um, so we don't, we're not going to do that. But basically, we have to look for things to replace with other things. We could replace this cosine squared if we go up here to the Pythagorean. Uh, I never erased that. If we go up here to the Pythagorean um, identity, we can solve for cosine squared and take that and put it in here. Um, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take this 3x, okay? What I'm going to show you is that 3x is the same thing as 2x plus x. I'm breaking apart the 3x into 2x plus x, which will then allow me to use a couple of the different identities that we have over here. So now this is going to become sine of 2x plus x because 2x plus x is the same thing as 3x, okay? Now, I'm going to leave this alone, okay? I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to leave that right up there. I'm only going to work on the left side for right now, okay? Um, so here's what I want to show you. 2x plus x, that's a sum, right? So we can use one of the sum formulas. We can use sine of a plus b on this, where a is 2x and b is just x. And so the sum uh, identity for, for sine, uh, for a sum, goes like this. Sine of a, which in this case is 2x, times cosine of b, which in this case is just x. So we'll have sine of 2x times cosine of x plus sine of b, which will be sine of x, times cosine of a, which is 2, 2x. Cosine of uh, 2x, okay? All right, now where you see the sine of 2x and the cosine of 2x, I can use my double angle formulas now to replace them. We know that sine of 2x is the same thing as 2 sine of x times cosine of x. That's, that's for this right here. And we're going to multiply that by cosine of x plus sine of x, and we know that cosine of 2x can be replaced with cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x, right? All right. Now over here, I can simplify this first term. I have cosine times cosine, so I have 2 sine of x. And then cosine times cosine becomes cosine squared of x plus. Now here I'm going to distribute the sine. I need to multiply sine by this, and I also need to multiply sine by this. Okay, Sine of x times cosine squared becomes sine of x times cosine squared of x. Now sine of x times negative sine squared of x. Now this is two sines. This is minus sine times sine. So now we're going to have sine times sine times sine. That's three sines, and it's, and it's minus, okay? So minus, because this is positive and this is negative, minus sine cubed. There's three of them. Oh, I should have put parentheses here, sorry, of x. There we go. And now I want, to, I want to show you something. We now have three terms. We have this term, then a plus, then this term, then a minus, then sine cubed of x. Well, look, this one ends with minus sine cubed of x, so we're already, we're, we've already got a good deal there. And then look at this. This is sine of x times cosine squared of x, and this is also sine of x times cosine squared of x. There's two of them here and then one of them here, so we are going to do two of them plus one of them. That's three of them. So really what we have here is three 
sine of x times cosine squared of x, and then all the way over here minus sine cubed of x. And now look at this. Compare this to this up here, and they are identical to each other, and therefore we know that this is, that this is true, okay?